My name is uh, Chevron Jones. My current position is state senator representing the 35th Senate District uh, in Miami, Florida. I am a uh, the first openly LGBTQ person uh, to be elected uh, to the Florida Senate, and my pronouns are he, him, and his. What inspired me to run for office was actually me being a teacher in the classroom, and um, I did not like how teachers were being treated by our elected officials. At that time, I wasn't aware on uh, who was making the rules for teachers, uh, which were uh, affecting the students that I, were teaching in my, that I was teaching in my classroom. And at that time, I was teaching level one students. And uh, the policymakers did not know, um, and li little do they still don't know, uh, that you know, their policies affect the children in the classroom. And so I said, you know what, I'm gonna run for office. Uh, at the first, at first, I ran for county commission. I lost that seat, um, but as as the universe would have it, I uh, I ran for state rep, uh, and I won. I ran actually ran unopposed. At that time, I wasn't identifying as an LGBTQ um, um, a person. I only, I was married at that time. Uh, I was raised in a very Christian conservative household. And uh, the one thing that I was clear on that if I wanted to be transparent in talking about uh, policy and making sure I am being true to who I am and encouraging others to be true to who they are, that I need to live my full and true self. Uh, and so uh, after my ex-wife and I, who is now one of my closest friends, after we separated and had um, after a, a rough separation uh, and I uh, moved on to uh, to live in, in my truth, uh, that is when I uh, came out. So I was already elected when I came out as being uh, a gay man. And so when I filed to run for the Senate, I did not know whether or not my sexuality would become uh, the highlight of, of the campaign of me running for the state Senate. Many people made it clear that uh, I would not possibly win because of my sexuality. And so I changed the narrative the entire time uh, while I was running for the state Senate, although my opponents were very clear on um, making that their talking point as they traveled the district to discredit the leadership and the policies that I have been able to work across the aisles to bring forth to the state of Florida. Um, once we started campaigning, I wanted to stick to what I knew best. And that was exemplifying and showing the leadership uh, that I had um, brought forth in the legislative, uh, in those legislative chambers. And uh, that's what the people wanted. The people wanted someone uh, who can lead them, someone who, who spoke to their values. People weren't, weren't even looking at my sexuality. People were looking at my leadership. They were looking for leadership. Uh, and at that time, that's what, they, we, that's what we presented to them. Um, although they knew who I was, they knew my sexuality, they know my partner, uh, they know my parents, uh, but they wanted to know me and what was I going to do for them. It was right in the middle of COVID. So people were asking about their job. People were asking about their child, their child's education. People were asking about their unemployment. Uh, and so my, my opponents, as what they, what they thought was going to be a knock, uh, actually worked out in my favor in a very real way, so much so that was six people in the race, we walked away with almost 47% uh, of the vote. Why? Uh, because hate and bigotry never wins. As a matter of fact, we were just, we were in the time of Donald Trump and his, uh, and his antics and things that he was doing. So people were really sick and tired of, of this divided, hateful um, uh, tone of America that was happening. And so we used that <clears throat> to our advantage, excuse me, uh, to show that, you know what, you know, our time is now to bridge the gap between who we are now as America and who we can be. Um, and, and we merged that into our election and we won. And so it's been a pleasure because uh, it allows me and has allowed me to show up as my, my full and my true self. Uh, and that's the best version of me. And so being able to present that to people uh, has been refreshing and rewarding. My identity as LGBTQ candidate um, has done two things. It has allowed me to be to be more empathetic, and it has also allowed me the opportunity to speak to other individuals who 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 don't know how to live as their true self. Whether you're 
a part of the LGBTQ community or whether you're not, it doesn't matter. There is a side of all of us that we don't show up to show our full selves because we don't know how people will look at us uh, by showing up as our full self. Uh, and so, yeah, those are the two things that you know, I, I that I'm happy about uh, that uh, that I represent when I when I go when I wake up every morning and when I'm speaking to people, uh, whether it's a group or whether it's through Zoom, uh, it's it's being able to to show people that showing up showing up as your full self is is that that's your best you. Um, and you know, and as a even as an LGBTQ uh, elected official, as proud as I am of who I am. And uh, who um, and who I uh, uh, exemplify uh, to to uh, to the world because it's just not just not to my community because I have to always realize and we all have to realize that people are watching us uh, that I rather not be boxed in that with that's the only thing that I am uh, and I think that's where many get stuck at uh, to where you be, where you believe that that's the one issue that you just hone in on. Because when you fight for LGBTQ issues, you now you are you have the right to fight for other issues, social justice issues, economic justice issues, environmental justice uh, issues. Because truth be told, uh, all of these things are being attacked uh, by by individuals who don't want to see us uh, um, uh, succeed, who want to see us fail, uh, who don't believe that we should have our rights. And so, being able to show up and step outside of the box. Uh, of just being the LGBTQ candidate, uh, I show my holistic and my whole self as being someone who fights for the right of all people. Uh, my identity as an LGBTQ state senator makes me uh, a better American uh, because it allows me <clears throat> to show up as my full self. Uh, it allows me uh, to be empathetic, but it also allows me the opportunity to show others how to show up as their full self because I have to realize that I'm not on this journey alone. I have to realize that there are other people who are watching me? Who are who see who who see me show up as their full as my full self, and uh, maybe that is their encouragement encouragement for them to show up as their full self. Uh, being boxed in uh, is is not the way to lead. Uh, being able to step outside of the box to do other things from social justice to environmental justice to economic justice is where uh, we found our mo- where I found my most fulfillment uh, because I truly believe that being an LGBTQ American or being an LGBTQ state senator allows me the opportunity to fight on so many fronts because I know what it feels like to be discriminated against. I know what it feels like to be treated wrong. I know what it feels like to be ostracized. And so being able to fight for the rights of all people is what I believe my, my identity as a LGBTQ American stands for. And I am happy, so happy that me being a part of the LGBTQ community speaks so much volume because truth be told, and I keep saying it, pride is protest. And we must continue, I must continue to fight for those things that I know are for the betterment of people. I believe that we need more LGBTQ uh, plus uh, representation because of one saying that I truly believe in. It's an old saying that if you're not at the table, then you're on the menu. Uh, it is extremely important that representation is had on all fronts. That goes from being LGBTQ+, to being Black, to being Indigenous. It doesn't matter. All representation matters because it truly causes for this thing called democracy. And it really paints the true picture of who America is. And so until we get to a place that from the courtroom to the boardroom, that everybody is represented the right way, there truly is no, um, no justice. There truly is no true fair democracy because everyone deserves to be represented in this thing we call America. The only thing I would like to add this Pride Month is to tell everyone uh, to thank them for showing up as their true self every day. Trust me, there's somebody that's out there that's watching them. There's somebody that's thanking them for doing just that. Uh, It is important that as we show up as our true self, we not only free others, but you free you also.